The explosion at the end of a star's life is a very dramatic event, and JWST has been imaging exactly that. This is the supernova remnant Cassiopeia A, a star that exploded thousands of years ago, and the light of the explosion first reached Earth about 340 years ago. This stellar remnant is 110,000 light years away, and I think we can all agree that it is beautiful. On the left, in orange, we can see ejected material from the star, smashing into gas and space dust that surround the dead star. For example, this is visible outside the main bubble of material in the top left of the image. We can see a wave of orange and red material, and it's that color due to warm dust emitting bright light. This green loop in the center right, we have no idea what that is. It's a strange, complicated shape that we just have no clue about yet but maybe more data from JWST could help us figure that one out. This is the youngest stellar remnant that we know of in our Milky Way galaxy, so it offers a unique insight into the death of stars, and hopefully continuing to study it with JWST might just give us a way to understand the origins of cosmic dust, which forms the very elements that we are made of, so it's something we're a little bit curious about. The inside of the bubble is encrusted with filaments, faint wisps, clumps and knots of coloured gas and dust, making it look truly studded with jewels. These colourful spots show us material from the star itself, which exploded so spectacularly to give us this remnant, and they're caused by heavier elements like neon, oxygen and argon, all emitting bright light. Something else really cool about this object is that we can see exactly how it's been growing, evolving and expanding in more or less real time. We have a visible light image of this dead star from 2004, and if we compare the two images we can see that the remnant has definitely grown since then. This really is just the cloud and outward wave of material growing and expanding over time. You might think that it hasn't actually grown that much. Given that the two images are more or less 20 years apart and the growth isn't crazy. But remember that this object is absolutely massive. This line here represents three light years. So the growth we're seeing here is actually millions of kilometers of growth. Check out the links in the description if you want to see the full resolution original image from JWST. And thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!